And with that, we have arrived at this UFC Light Heavyweight Championship fight. Daniel Cormier just turned 38. Anthony Rumble Johnson is 33. Rumble is a few inches taller. 205 pounds for Daniel Cormier. 204 for Rumble, who will have a five and a half inch reach advantage. Now to get you the introductions for this main event, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission, interim chairman, and Didi Massey. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Eric Cullen, Doug Crosby, and Derek Cleary. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Big John McCarthy. This bout is sponsored by Budweiser. This Bud's for you and Metro PCS. Get a fast nationwide 4G LTE network for only $30 period. Wireless figured out. And now, this is the moment UFC fans watching around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Key Bank Center in Buffalo, New York. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 22 wins, five losses. He stands. 62 inches tall, weighing in at 204 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, by way of Dublin, Georgia, presenting the number one ranked light heavyweight contender in the world, the challenger, Anthony Rumble Johnson. And now introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 18 wins, one loss. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, presenting the former Strike Force heavyweight Grand Prix champion and the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Light heavyweight champion of the world, Daniel DC. the rules in the back. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. I want you to fight hard, but fight clean. If you want to touch gloves again, do it. Good luck. The tension is palpable in this sold-out Key Bank Center UFC Light Heavyweight Championship rematch. Anthony Rumble Johnson and the champion Daniel Cormier. First rematch in the career of Cormier. Second rematch for Anthony Rumble Johnson. Cormier thinks Johnson right, will be more patient right. tonight, which could Get make up. him less dangerous. We shall see. Cormier is in black, Rumble Johnson in blue. Rumble attacking with kicks to the body here early. Now going southpaw. He's attacking that front leg, got a bleed kick, he lands the right hand. Now, we'll see if maybe Rumble tries to take Cormier down. Watching right here, I like that right away, Anthony's corner's like, relax, relax, relax. Don't use too much strength here. DC's just taking a little chill. He's just hanging out right now, making sure Rumble can't pull his legs out from underneath him, but I don't think there's gonna be any takedown here. I think it's just gonna be a stalemate, and they're gonna separate in a second. Johnson. The longer DC can keep this in a clinch situation, though, the better. Right? This is exactly what DC wants right here. Slow rumble down, hold hard on that left overhook. 
keep them in place, make them battle, make them grapple with you. Nice knee to the body by DC. This is all great. This is outside of the, the realm of striking. And remember, DC's strength is Greco-Roman. That's all upper body clinch. So he's gonna do the best when Rumble's on top. Now he's attacking the legs. When he attacks the legs, it's gonna be his best hope to get DC down. But if you try to go upper body with DC, he's the most comfortable there. That's what Greco-Roman wrestling is. I'm surprised that Rumble's not trying to disengage. Right. Good post by Cormier to prevent the takedown. And a lot of people say, until you Wish feel Daniel Cormier head. in the octagon or in a training situation, you don't have a full appreciation for just how lead an athlete this is and just how strong he is. Lock it, lock it. The thing is, this is Rumble what DC working. wants. DC yeah. wants to wear out Rumble, just hang on him. Right here in this front headlock position, DC will stay here for five minutes if he could and just hang on Rumble and just take that energy out of him, suck the energy out of him, take the wind out of his sails, and then try to fight him on his feet in the open mat. That's yeah. the key to fighting Rumble. This doesn't make sense to me from the standpoint of Rumble's strategy. I don't know why he's not immediately trying to spin him. Right. I think we forget that nerds are involved with everybody. Yeah, and that's sure. something Daniel Cormier also hits hard. Don't forget, yes. he just earned some respect with that overhand right he threw on Rumble. Rumble felt that too, just as much as DC felt Rumble. And the that's consequences sure. of this are shoulder. so huge. I mean, they're fighting for the title, and that's a big factor in this as well. Right here, you... Coming under, coming under. White stance. Don't hold his hands. You got Cormier controlling Keep the other hook, and that's why Rumble can't get away. Now Rumble's trying to get away. Get out of there! Okay, Jake, but he can't. Because the underhooks you are controlled it, by DC. It. This yeah. is his specialty. Underhooks, front headlock. Underhook, front headlock. Head back up, to the head single up. leg, wear you down, take you to the mat, back to the front headlock. This is what DC can do for 25 minutes straight. And Cormier certainly staying busy enough to avoid a separation from John McCarthy who warns the fighters now. And he went to look for the single transition, but Rumble felt it, got the underhook, and now he can get away. If he can use that left underhook, scoot his hips to the left of DC, get behind him, he can get out. You see how DC locks him in with his hips, though. Wow, that was oh. getting wild, though. He tried to throw a high kick from two feet away. There was an opportunity to disengage there. Rumble didn't take it. Well, DC's like glue. I mean, he just sticks onto you. And he's so good at controlling these Don't positions. Hold the Don't hold the fence. Don't hold the fence. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. That's big. Rumble attacks the ball. Big kick. Two big kicks. Oh, he ducked that well, that trouble. Open. Yeah. He got hurt with that kick. Rumble back to work on that lead leg of Cormier. Those knees are, those kicks to the knee are a big deal. And that's Rumble attacking the lead leg of DC he that he knows is hurt. Right back to the clinch, this is crazy. You gotta think goal one or two for Johnson coming in was to maintain distance, but that has not been the approach here early. Yeah, I do not understand the strategy at all. Less than 30 seconds here to go in round one of a possible five. The winner here could very well draw a returning John Jones this summer. And remember, Jimmy Mano was in the wings as well. That is right. looked sensational. Ah! And Johnson do they, had already do they call that takedown? That's do a good count question. That? I mean, I he had already do, started. I do not believe so, but I'm, I could be wrong. Let's take a look at this kick. Boom, that one landed almost flush. And the second one grazed him. Now let's listen to the end of the round. I was right on the bell. I don't know if they count that or not. It seems like he was okay. still okay. up I when the bell went off. I just want you to keep working and don't let him build, motion, don't let him build me offense, okay? Okay. All right. And he keeps throwing up with them kicking. I need you punching. Okay? You got to keep your goddamn hands up let, with the kicks, okay? Let them hands go. Okay. Them hands go. All right. Let's do this. Let them hands go and go yeah, to the rest. This is easy. No, right? Look very cool. broken yeah. to me, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Just, just say really it. Yeah. Yeah. Look, come on. Stand up. Stand strong. Hey, let me see your foot move. Your foot move. Come on. Come on. Yeah, it's definitely broken, and hopefully he doesn't blow his nose, because if DC blows his nose with a broken nose, his eyes will fill up with fluid and he won't be able to see. Yeah, his nose is nasty. Clearly broken, and Rumble sees it. He's gonna start punching at it. 
And that's when things get weird, when you got a broken nose, he gets punched in it. It's next level of pain. DC going with the high kick, and you got to think that could impact his breathing and his cardio. And impact everything. Interesting that Rumble's decided to go southpaw, too. Looking for that left high kick. Yes, he sure is. And it's because DC has a habit of leaning to the right. Anytime DC throws a jab, he leans to his right. And that's what Rumble's looking for. They're going to throw a right hook, left high kick. Oh, There's a game in the bottom yeah. as well. Cormier forcefully closes the distance here. Well, right after this main event, recap of all of tonight's action from Buffalo on the FS1 UFC 210 post-fight show. Well, Karen Bryan, Kenny Florian, Eve Edwards, Megan O'Leary. It's on FS1, streaming live on Fox Sports Go. For those watching in Canada, TSN. I mean, how about the toughness of, of these guys, though? Both of them taking big shots early on. DC's fighting with a broken nose. How could you ever boo somebody fighting with a broken nose to put on a show? Well, your commentary about clinch position and the use of the underhook is so important here, Dom, because this is really where it's paying off. You look that high underhook that DC's using to control Rumble. And the problem with it, Joe, is that it's high. You're exactly right. The elevation is the problem. You see how Anthony's posture is broken. In order for Rumble to get away, he's got to cinch down that underhook on DC. Now it's cinched down. Yep, and now DC launches it back up to the height. Now every time Rumble gets that hip down, he has a chance to get away. Now he can get away. He needs to scoot out the back door, and he's up. But DC pulls him right into the offense that he wants up on the octagon by getting the overhook. Do you see how DC gets the overhooks? That keeps Rumble in on him. And it, it forces... It seems like Rumble just keeps wanting to get the takedown. It's because DC gives him the takedown. DC doesn't care if he gets taken down. He knows he can stand back up. He's wearing Rumble out with these takedown attempts. So he gives underhooks so Rumble shoots down to the legs. And now DC does his work, gets the takedowns back. And Cormier has gotten past that magic seven-minute mark that he talks so much about. And he takes Johnson now. Has his back. back. Here we are again. Oh, my goodness. Look about where it's at. Let's see if Rumble can slip out the back. He's trying. He's a little high right now. But he can switch to mount still and be in a good position. And see, DC recognize that, scoots his hips back. He's looking for half guard in case Rumble goes to his back. Grabs the wrist control. This is wrestling 101. Wrist control, tight waist, grind him out. Look for the choke, ground and pound. DC can do this all day. Let's see if Rumble can create some space. Rumble would do best to roll to his back and try to reset the, the position. Up, Rumble's looking up, and what he's got to be really careful is letting those demons back into his mind right. that got in there during that first fight. We saw him for looking, looking for fouls, looking for things that went wrong, looking at the referee. Right here, Rumble needs to roll to his back because he's yes. not gonna be in a good position no matter what he does unless he resets by rolling to his back towards DC. Otherwise, he's just gonna keep getting punched until the end. Those are hands of count. Rumble better move. Now Cormier trying to sink in a choke, Bill's on it. He's under the net. Oh my goodness. And there's the tackle for the Wow. Frustrating finish for Anthony Rumble Johnson, who had his moments. DC reigns supreme once again, remains the hunted at 205 pounds. That was an awesome performance by Daniel Cormier. He imposed his strengths and capitalized on the mistakes that Rumble Johnson made. Rumble Johnson chose to engage DC in the grappling, and once he did, he couldn't get away. Let's get to the fight replay brought to you by Budweiser. This Bud's for you. And here we see the takedown. Beautiful trip. Gets on top, gets his back, and does not get off. Hits him with these hammer fists, punches, wore him out. Controlled his position and then got under the neck. Secured the choke, pulled his chin up. I mean, Rumble's not even defending here. He just flattens out and taps. 
And how about the reaction from Javier Mendez, Bob Cook, everybody at AKA. And not pictured, you see DC's reaction here. Cormier immediately went over to Jimmy Manawa and started engaging him in talk. John McCarthy holding Cormier back. Cormier saying, Manawa, you want some? Come get some. But tonight belongs to Daniel Cormier. Unbelievable resolve. This man exceedingly hard to put away. So strong. And once again, solves arguably the biggest power puzzle in UFC history, Anthony Rumble Johnson. The official decision brought to you by Metro PCS. Get a fast nationwide 4G LTE network for only $30 period. Wireless figured out one final time tonight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Big John McCarthy has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 37 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke. And still, the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Daniel DC I'm here with Rumble Johnson. Rumble, give us your thoughts on what just went down. I don't, I don't have any excuses. I lost again to the better man. Prop, go, props to DC. Um, where are my coaches? Anthony, one of the things that was surprising to us was that you chose to grapple early on in the fight. Yeah, I need, I need my coaches to come in here real quick. Where's, where's Henry? I see, I see Neil. Hey, Neil, come in here. I don't know where, where Henry is. But everybody, I just, this is uh, something I have to do for me. I love you all. I said, I love you. This, uh, this was uh, my last fight. I, I didn't even tell Dana White. I didn't tell anybody. My coaches knew. My family knew. My friends knew. I didn't want any dis distractions. But I have to thank you all for being there for me, you know. Anthony, in, in the prime of your career, which is where you are right now, why are you deciding to retire? Um, I, gave, I gave my commitment to another, to another job, uh, something that I've been wanting to do for a while. It's not MMA related or anything like that. It's just time for me to move on to something else. I'm tired of getting punched by guys and rolling around on the guy, ground with guys and stuff like that. Ain't nothing fun about that, yo. So uh, I enjoyed you, Joe. I enjoyed you too. I enjoyed you, UFC. I enjoyed you, Zufa, Bruce, Heidi, Dana, Dean, everybody. Thank you. I will never, ever forget you. And uh, what better place than to end my career in Buffalo, New York? Rumble, you, you are the most exciting knockout artist in the history of the division. We're all gonna be at a loss to watch you leave, but I wanna thank you for all the amazing fights that I've had the pleasure and the honor to commentate. I do wanna say this. I wanna say thank you to everybody that listened to me and believed in me, and when I asked you not to come to the fight, you didn't come, you, you truly respected me. You guys are the ones I love, and you are my true friends and family. And uh, I have to say one more thing. Big shout out to my boy, Goldie. He, he wasn't here and I wanted him to be here for my last fight, but Mike, I love you, baby. Peace out, everybody. DC, thank you, thank you. Anthony Rumble Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, my man Bones right here. Keep your head up, baby. All right, I know we didn't give the fans the fight that they wanted. Maybe in the next life we'll do that. I don't have to boo you, baby. I got number love for you, my man. Stay up. 
I'm here with the winner and still UFC light heavyweight champion. Daniel, first of all, you, you got hit with a big shot in the first round. Is your nose broken? It, it might be, but hey, I can't get cheered. So what if I say, you know, this might be my last fight. I, are they going to cheer me then? I'm going. <laughs> hey, listen, it is fine, Joe. I don't understand it. I don't understand. Boo me. I'm getting money in championship belts. What's up? <laughs> well, listen, you put on a hell of a performance tonight. Were you shocked that Rumble decided to engage with you in grappling? I couldn't believe that he was actually in force force in the wrestling. So we were OK giving up the first round. It was like his round. I didn't want to take that head kick. But I, I knew that as we went on, I would eventually get to him. When he did go and clinch with you, did you think that it was a ploy? Did you think that he was going to dis... I mean, what, was, what were your thoughts when that was going on? I was kind of thinking that when Rumble... Like, Rumble has that big burst, and then he starts to kind of panic. And at the end of the day, he's a wrestler. So he went back to what he knows. Took me down twice, so obviously it was working. But you got to keep me down once you get me down. That's what I was able to do. But, man, listen. I hope that Anthony Johnson is not walking away from this sport. He has so much more to offer to the sport of mixed martial arts than walking away. People enjoy him. He's a gentleman. Anthony needs to continue fighting, man. That's what he was put on this earth to do. Now, you had some words with Jimmy Manawa, one of the top contenders in the world, cage side. What, what did you say to Jimmy? I told Jimmy, stop pretending he wants to fight me. He don't want none of this. He Why knows. You, you can't Why beat you me, Jimmy. Head? Jimmy, you can come in here with your bare knuckle and punch me. I will eat that. I will eat that. You can't beat me, Jimmy. Jimmy, you can't beat me. You know it. Don't lie to yourself. I like Corey Anderson, but you just beat Corey Anderson. Sit down, young man. Sit down. Now, also in the room, of course, is John Jones. Who? 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 Is that guy even eligible to fight yet? He's right there. But is he eligible to fight yet? A couple months from now. Don't, don't talk to me about a guy that's ineligible. When you get your ass, when you get your shit together and you're ready to fight, I'm here waiting for you, young man. You know it. I've been waiting for two years. You got the first one. But you knew after the first one we had many coming. Hey, as a fighter, I respect him. We just don't see eye to eye. So locking me in here with him, that's a that's a that's a favor. That's a favor. He's a good fighter, but still not eligible. When he gets his academics in order, he can come back to the classroom. Congratulations. It was beautiful. Daniel Cormier, ladies and gentlemen.